Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Anna Lela, chair of the World Oral Health Day Working Group, the body who supervises the development and implementation of the campaign strategy. On behalf of this working group, as well as the FDI team, we are excited to welcome you to this webinar dedicated to the World Oral Health Day 2024. This marks our first time we are hosting such a webinar aiming to provide an additional opportunity to deliver deeper into the campaign's objective and empower everyone interested in joining efforts to raise awareness about the critical importance of good oral health. We understand that the invitation were sent out at short notice, but greatly appreciate those of you who were able to attend today. Before we commence, I'd like to inform you that this meeting is being recorded for documentation purpose. So here is the agenda for the next hour. As you can see, we'll start with an overview of the 2024-2026 World All Health Day campaign, covering audience goals and team. Following that, I gladly pass the floor to Francesca, our social media and campaign manager. Francesca will provide an overview of the creative approach. She will then focus on World Oral Health Day 2024 to share information on the available resource and suggestions on how uh, you can activate the campaign this year. Following this, we'll um, present the World Oral Health Day 24 award categories and explain the application process for this year. Finally, we'll have a question and answer providing the opportunity to directly engage with us by asking your question in the chat box. Now, without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to share with you uh, a recap of the new 2024-2026 World Oral Health Day campaign. The World Oral Health Day 2024-2026 campaign was officially launched during FDI's World Dental Congress in Sydney last September 2023. This marked uh, the beginning of a new three-year campaign cycle, consigning with the culmination of the three-year Be Proud of Your Mount campaign. This uh, translation gives us an opportunity to reflect on what worked well, what didn't, and how we could improve. To develop a new strategy, the FDI team began by re redefining the campaign audience and goals. In terms of audience, as you know, members play a crucial role. FDI leads the campaign at the international level by providing tools and assets to encourage its members to participate in World Oral Health Day. It is thanks to our members that we can amplify the campaign's research in different countries by reaching various groups, including the public, professionals, such as dentists, dental team, and the wide healthcare community, as well as a policymaker and our partners. On this slide, you can see our campaign goals for the next three years. By 2026, FDI would like World Oral Health Day to be more inclusive and include the voice of people living with oral health conditions. We want every member association to celebrate and every corporate partner supporter driving oral health awareness through, for example, the integration with the, within um, 
employee education and workplace wellness uh, initiatives. FDI, uh, FDI also like to have an established network uh, of uh, key opinion leaders and dig digital influencers by 2026, which helps to drive oral health awareness and extend the campaign reach at the global level. Finally, we aim to have partners uh, from the wide non-communicable diseases and health professions, communities actively rolling our world or our health day. And overall, our goal is to deliver a, a coordinated campaign to reasonable global uh, is accessible by all and turn uh, what is considered uh, an exciting uh, subject matter into something engaging, which uh, inspire participation, conversation and action, resulting in widespread media coverage around the importance of oral health. So it is by taking all of that into consideration that the next three years will be leading with the stay prime a happy mount is uh, with this uh, consistent yet helpfully impact uh, tackle fdi wants to simplify oral health and make it accessible by explaining the benefits upfront in a plain speaking way for each year of the three-year campaign the happy mount is the uh, term will be qualified by a focus area which aligns with the broader development on the global health agenda further for the adoption of the WHO's oral health resolution in 2021. In 2024, FDI will be leading with Happy Mount is a Happy Body, encouraging people to understand the benefits of a happy, healthy mount by uh, shedding light on the um, intracal link between oral health and general health. I will now hand over the floor to Francesca, our FDI campaign and social media manager, to provide an overview of the creative approach. Please join me and welcome her. Good morning, everyone. Thanks, Dr. Lella. It's now my pleasure to uh, talk you through the uh, creative approach uh, of this campaign. And then I'll also take the opportunity to introduce you some of the activities that we are doing to activate World or Health Day in the next uh, coming weeks. And finally, um, give you some more insights into what you can do to help us uh, spread the message. So let's re resume with the presentation. Um, as I mentioned, uh, and as some of you actually may have seen already from our social media activation over the past few weeks, uh, our idea for uh, the next three years is to create a movie-inspired campaign in which Juthi is uh, going to be the main star. So this is going to be reflected in the um, whole campaign a creative and the materials and resources that we have available for the campaign this year. As you can see from this slide, which really looks uh, cinematic, um, where World War Health Day will present people with Tooty the Beaver in A Happy Mouth is a Happy Body, just like a movie poster uh, would do. So to the, um, the beaver, our friendly uh, dentist will really um, try to inspire people and invite people to join his journey towards happier and healthier lives. And he will do that by sharing important key messages this year about the mouth uh, body connection. Um, and so let's have a look together at uh, how he does that in the main campaign uh, short movie, which was launched at the beginning of this year.
open wide, please. Hello, I'm Toothy, and I'm a dentist. Do you know what I see when I look in your mouth? I'll give you a hint. It's not just your teeth. Say, ah. Uh... Look at all the things a happy mouth can do. Taking care of your mouth makes you feel good and keeps your body healthy. That's right. A happy mouth really is a whole body experience. It can help protect your heart, your lungs, and your brain, and reduces the risk of unwelcome health conditions like diabetes and some cancers. Say, ah. Uh, C. Eating a well-balanced diet, low in sugar, avoiding tobacco and alcohol, and brushing twice a day with fluoride toothpaste helps you stay strong. And don't forget, regular checkups with a dentist are important too. Take it from me, Toothy. A happy mouth is a happy body. For more tips to keep you smiling, follow me. And bring your toothbrush. All right, so we hope you enjoyed this short movie and that you will help us uh, share it and amplify it throughout your networks. Please note that it's available uh, currently on our website, uh, both in English, but also with uh, French and Spanish subtitles. Um, and as you can see, Tuthi um, has been sharing this uh, key messages and will continue to do so until World or Health Day, so the 20th of March, but he won't be alone. He will be... Um, accompanied by uh, Tuthi, the student, as you can see in this slide, and also take um, the role of um, Tuthi in an action pose, uh, really as to highlight the spirit of the campaign, which stresses the importance of oral health for uh, a happy body. So by letting him become the uh, key star of uh, the campaign, um, we really hope to grab the attention of multiple audiences. And um, by doing that, uh, we also believe that uh, the campaign, because it's a three years campaign, has the potential to really build on um, this creative without becoming dull and repetitive, uh, which is why, for example, for the years to come, uh, we will be able to create movie sequels based on the one you've just seen um, that could feature, for example, to see in a happy mouth is a happy mind in year two really as to uh, reflect the campaign soup theme for that year. And then in year three, we could have him as the protagonist of A Happy Mouth is a Happy Life. Um, so one of the ways you could get involved this year is obviously, as I, share, as I said, by sharing this campaign video across your networks. Um, but there's many other different ways uh, by which you can get involved. You can start by using the campaign materials that are available at uh, worldoralhealthday.org. And I would um, highly recommend you to start with the uh, action toolkits if you haven't yet. Uh, these provide a very good overview of the campaign resources, all the materials available, and how you can use them to uh, you know, activate the campaign uh, on your local context. Uh, the one that you can see uh, on the left in blue is an, the action toolkit uh, that everybody can use. Um, everyone who really wants to get involved, uh, you could be an FDI member, but also, um, you know, uh, another healthcare related organization, um, a dental practice, a youth group, a school, and so on and, and, uh, and so forth. So it's really meant for everybody um, and it gives you great tips and insights uh, on the key messages of the campaign as well. Uh, we have an addition for this year, which is the government briefing. And this is specifically dedicated uh, to governments and policymakers or stakeholders that want to use the campaign as a way to inspire political commitment in their countries. Um, and finally, the one that you can um, see on the on the right of this slide in red, it's uh, meant mainly for FDI members or our close partners who could uh, use uh, this toolkit um, as a key guidance um, when they want to um, translate, for example, the materials in their uh, own language or just adapt them to suit their local context. 
So let's have a look into the other resources available. We uh, have, as per previous years, a great poster set. Uh, these years, Tusi is obviously taking the center stage. Um, but we also thought uh, it would be great to have some people-led posters to really bring in the human angle. Uh, while we have advocacy posters that um, have a revised version of the campaign uh, strap line, uh, which reads a happy mouth that is a basic uh, human right, really has to emphasize the importance of a universal access to oral health. And all these resources are available in English, uh, but also Spanish and uh, French. We also have advocacy in action cards, um, which really serve as a useful reference tool for supporting uh, many different oral health related activities uh, that you may, may want to organize for the day. Uh, for example, education, outreach, but also advocacy related activities. And they cover various um, oral health conditions and topics. Um, they are listed on this slide and the um, rationale behind uh, the development of this this year was really to uh, capitalize on the work FDI has been uh, doing over the past years um, within the public health um, and education department and the projects we've been working on. Um, so that's why every single uh, advocacy action card has a QR code at the bottom of it, which is linking back to an FDI uh, project related resources, which are hosted on our uh, organization's website, and which you can also use uh, for World Oral Health Day uh, to help us uh, raise awareness uh, of that particular topic. So you can use this in many different ways as well, uh, whether it's an offline event or an online uh, event to facilitate and empower uh, conversation. We also have infographic uh, fact sheets, um, a set of six uh, fact sheets this year, which are intended to be used to explain key points uh, to patients in a short and visual way. Uh, they kind of cover the gaps uh, left uh, by the uh, advocacy in action cards and really take us through the lifespan. So as you can see, we have a couple dedicated to uh, children and, and, you know, kids, uh, one that is uh, for future moms, uh, another one which is for the elder, and then uh, one which is actually targeted and addressed to everyone, uh, giving tips on how people can protect their mouth. And finally, one on the brush and boogie, uh, which I will talk a little bit more about uh, later on during this presentation. And all of this, uh, once again, are available in the official FDI languages. We also have media assets, and you could use this to loudly broadcast the significance of the day and the importance of joining our journey to healthier and happier lives. Um, they are available, uh, once again, in the FDI official language, but also in many other languages this year. And this is thanks to our members who helped us um, with the translations. Um, so this, uh, the other language are soon going to be uploaded on uh, the website as well. Some children activity sheets. Um, we have a set of seven uh, this year, which you can use to engage uh, children in their oral health and they're quite fun. Um, really proud of this. Uh, this year, so please use them if you're engaging kids at board or health day. So obviously there's many different things you could do um, to celebrate World or Health Day. Um, there's plenty of ideas in the action uh, toolkit, which I've talked about at the beginning of the presentation. Um, but overall, you could use uh, these resources uh, to get noticed. Um, by simply, you know, displaying them and sharing them uh, throughout offices, schools, uh, dental practices, hospitals, clinics, and simply with your neighbors. Um, you could decide to organize an activity or a community event. It could be a free dental checkup, a distribution of toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, but also talks on the mouth-body connection. And generally use these resources to educate, to empower, 
uh, with the aim of uh, improving oral health literacy of patients and the broader community, um, both in practice and through outreach activities. Um, great if you could also help us make noise uh, for the day uh, by leveraging media coverage um, and distributing press releases or also using and working with influencers. FDI has been working with them uh, over the past couple of years and we've really seen the impact of um, working with them to help us extend our reach. So shout out to them if uh, we have some on the call today. Um, and generally to spread the word on social media, this is uh, always something you can do. Um, World War Health Day is also a great opportunity to exert pressure on governments to create and maintain healthy environments. Um, so you could definitely leverage the campaign for this. Uh, and another idea is, for example, to uh, use the campaign to fundraise for oral health causes. Um, you could also decide, for example, to link uh, the campaign to our movie theme with a movie night fundraiser, for example. So, as I said, many different things that you could do. Uh, every single action counts, uh, whether you know it's a small, small scale event, bigger scale event, or just a social media campaign. Uh, really, really looking forward to see how you're going to get involved this year. Um, and obviously, social media uh, plays a key role for World War Health Day, and the campaign this year lends itself very well uh, to many different platforms. So one of the things that you could do uh, if you were to decide to get involved on social media this year is uh, follow to see um, at on, on Instagram. Um, we really do believe in the strong, uh, you know, potential of Toothy as uh, an oral health advocacy and awareness ambassador for the future. So that's why Toothy has launched its own Instagram account uh, at the beginning of January this year, and it also took over the World Oral Health Day Instagram account. So please do follow his adventure, his quiet reactive, uh, and uh, get involved on Instagram. Another way you could decide to get involved this year, and especially in the coming weeks, is by participating to the Brush and Boogie. Um, it's a challenge that Tuti launched a few weeks ago now, and the aim is really to uplift the simple gesture of uh, brushing your teeth by encouraging people to, uh, you know, tune in their favorite tune and then brush and boogie like nobody is watching and then sharing this clip on social media. So it's really a relatively simple uh, ask. It takes three steps. Um, you know, one to take... Uh, your toothbrush, a second to turn on your camera, and third to brush your teeth and boogie, and then share that on social media with the hashtag and tag uh, Toothy Beaver. You could see the FDI team already started getting involved with this, and uh, we'd be happy to also share your clips over our uh, platforms um, in the coming weeks. Another way to get involved uh, with the challenge is by uh, using the filter. It adds some fun to the challenge itself. And um, obviously, uh, you could share this as an Instagram story or as a reel as well if you, if you wanted to. If you have any questions in relation to the challenge, please do have a look at the how to brush and boogie fact sheets, which uh, gives you an overview of uh, the different steps um, the challenge uh, involves. Uh, we also have a dedicated page on the website uh, providing you with some examples on what the challenge is about. We have plenty of social media materials uh, available as well for this year. Uh, they're fun, colorful, and we have both static uh, social media tiles, but also covers, um, GIFs uh, that you can um, use across your networks. Uh, and if you're a, a member, you could also translate them um, to your, to, you know, fit it to your local context. 
Another thing that uh, you can do if you're not a member, but want to translate uh, some social media cards in your own language is to uh, log into Canva, uh, which uh, hosts uh, for this year, uh, some templates that are uh, translatable and customizable for everyone. We actually also have a, a poster uh, template for you to translate. Um, another way uh, to customize uh, some resources, if you're not a member, do not have access as such uh, to the design files, is by going to the uh, Happy Mouth tool, uh, which is available on our website and gives you also the possibility to um, you know, upload your own photo and create your proper social media card. We have four languages at the moment available there, including Chinese. Sharing the campaign videos uh, is obviously a great way to get involved. As I mentioned before, we do not only have the main campaign video that you've seen earlier, but also have some uh, shorter uh, clips that can be used to you know, really bring an element of suspense and intrigue to the introduction of Toothy, uh, our campaign stock. So as I've anticipated uh, throughout uh, this presentation, members do have access uh, to the design uh, and artwork files. And this is by registering to the member hub, uh, which you can find on the top right of uh, the World War Health Day uh, website. It is also important uh, for FDI to, uh, you know, be kept informed about your activities and plans uh, because this really helps us monitor everything happening around the world on the campaign. Uh, so please do go on the map of activity uh, available on our website, even if you're just, you know, running a little social media campaign. Uh, it would be great if you could uh, just upload um, some screenshots and information about the activities that you're doing there. Um, and it is actually by putting yourself on the map of activities that you can also get a chance to win a World War Health Day award. So it's, it's quite simple. Just go on our website, click on map of activities, and then click on submit an activity. Um, for those of you who uh, participated to the award awards uh, competition in previous years, you may remember we actually also had um, an activity report uh, for you to fill out after the campaign period. However, uh, for this year and going forward, we decided to uh, slightly tweak this process. So now everything will be done throughout the map of activities uh, to simplify things. So the way the map of activities works now is that once you've clicked on uh, submit an activity, you will be asked to either uh, create an account or just submit the activity as a guest. And by creating an activity as a guest, you don't, um, you're just uploading your activity, which is great, uh, but you don't really want to participate into the World of Words com competition. However, if you want to get a chance to be recognized with, with an award, uh, you will be asked to create an account. And this actually gives you the possibility to go back uh, and log in again uh, to the map uh, of activities and edit, add more details to, to your activities. Um, you can also, if you already have an account uh, via the member hub, uh, log in and use these credentials to uh, just log in and you will already be able to uh, you know, edit uh, your activity and actually also have access to the design files. If you are an FDI member and have never created an account on our website, uh, you can do that either through uh, the FDI member hub tab that I've shown before or also directly by uh, the map of activities. And as you remember, you will have also access to the design files. You just need to wait a little bit uh, of time for us to approve you and verify your. So that's how the platform uh, will look like uh, once you log in to create your activity. Um, there is a mandatory section for everyone just with top uh, line information about um, about your campaign. And then, as I said, you can log in uh, afterwards to participate to the Water Awards and 
fill out uh, the section uh, which requires more information. So now let's um, end this presentation by, by having a quick look at the uh, World Oral Health Day Awards uh, categories this year, which have been slightly revised uh, from uh, past years. So the first two categories are dedicated to our members um, and they do recognize um, the um, best campaign in terms of um, their educational activities. Um, and the second one recognizes the best media campaign. So uh, ones that generated significant buzz in both traditional or online media. We have one category which is dedicated to uh, every dental student association. It could be an IADS member, but also other dental students associations can uh, participate and get a chance to win this one. Um, and then finally, one which is an uh, open to the general public. So it is really open to um, every uh, single stakeholder that doesn't fit into the previous categories. Uh, you can just um, submit your information uh, and uh, you will uh, automatically be applying for, for this award, not uh, the others. All right, so thank you very much for your attention and apologies again if we had some uh, technical issues. Um, it's great to see that we have 75 participants attending today, especially given uh, that this was quite last minute. Um, so thanks again, and uh, we look forward to see uh, how you're gonna get involved with uh, World Oral Health this year. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. And now I'll hand over to uh, Dr. Lela so that she can manage the uh, question and answer session. Thank you. Thank you very much, Frank. Cheska, don't worry about this uh, technical problem. It happened quite often. So uh, uh, it is like that, even if we tried it before. Once again, Francesca, thank you very much for explaining the new campaign which appears both exciting and promising. Um, we are all eager to embark on this transformative journey to healthier, happier life alongside Stufi. Uh, it's time to conclude this meeting, but before we do, uh, I'd like to allocate some time for any question from the audience. So please uh, use the dedicated question answer chat box for this. Uh, so if um, uh, somebody wants to, to give a um, uh, um, question for us, it, it's time to do it. But uh, I noticed that already we received some questions, uh, uh, but I believe um, even some answers uh, were given during Francesca presentation when it's a question uh, about um, um, uh, the source of these old materials and everything. Uh, Francesca already explained to you that uh, all of these uh, um, um, on our website, on FDI website. Uh, so uh, you could find everything, whatever you want, whatever it will be useful um, to this campaign, just take it, it's uh, available for everybody. Um, there was also a few questions about translation. So um, uh, also the information was given that now we have um, uh, four languages. Um, uh, of course, uh, FDI office um, um, is not um, able to do translation to any other languages, but we can do. All members of FDI uh, are allowed to use all materials and uh, also uh, you could do translation um, to your own language uh, uh, for your needs. Um, I am looking for um, um, more questions. Um, this, uh, the information about it, um, uh, the entire webinar is uh, recorded. So if somebody wants to look at it once again, or if somebody uh, was not able to join us, um, 
at this moment, you could do it anytime later because the record will be available. Um, may I jump in uh, quickly, Dr. Lela? I also saw there's a question um, from a dental clinic that may want to participate uh, into the water work competitions. And uh, please do, you're welcome uh, to do so. Uh, you will be automatically selected for um, the general public uh, award category. We also uh, received a question on uh, video subtitles. Um, and if you are an FDI member, you are very welcome to uh, add the subtitles uh, in your language. You can also uh, add the subtitles uh, in another language if you're not a member, because we have uh, a downloadable video which uh, doesn't include sub subtitles. And that's really to allow everyone to um, uh, add their own uh, language uh, subtitles to the video. So yeah, I just wanted to jump in for that. Thank you, Dr. Lella. Thank you, Francesca. Uh, uh, when I looked at chat, the majority of questions are just about language. So as we both said, uh, just um, um, you could take all materials and uh, choose what is suitable for you and just uh, um, do translation for your own language. Uh, I'm going to do it in Polish uh, and everybody could do the same. Um, uh, it, as I said, it's... Um, it's not um, the role of FDI staff because there are two ladies uh, who are engaged in this project. They are not able to do translation to to each um, language of our members uh, worldwide. So everybody could do it uh, themselves, okay? I don't see any new question. Thank you very much for all friends who are sending greetings to us. It's a great pleasure that you join this webinar. Thank you very much. I, I think we answer all uh, questions. So, uh, okay. Um, so thanks everyone once again. I encourage everybody to help us spread the word and remind people that a happy mount is a happy body because prioritizing the health of your mount leads to the better health overall. Uh, so together, let's continue to empower people with the knowledge, tools, and confidence to secure good oral health. It's our mission. Um, and finally, I would like uh, also take this opportunity to thank um, our World Oral Health Day 2024 partners, uh, without whom um, this um, World Oral Health Day wouldn't be possible. Um, uh, so very much thank you for all um, companies who support our World Oral Health Day. I would like also thanks very much to my colleagues from our working group and uh, also um, uh, our excellent FDI team, especially Chaz and Francesca, because uh, they both are engaged very much uh, in this project. Um, oh, now you could see on the screen our partners. Uh, so once again, thank you very much. Um, uh, you know very well uh, that we um, rely on them and they are very helpful us. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing what you have planned for this year. Um, help us kick off the 2024 campaign with a great start. Uh, and don't forget to, to send application uh, for uh, award. They are very attractive. Uh, just inform us what you are doing. Uh, and who knows, maybe you will be the winner. Um, so thank you very much and goodbye.